Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to my 2019 Rewind. 2019 has been an amazing year for us, alhamdulillah. And I wanted to make a short video to recap all the memorable moments. Let's begin with January. We started off the year by doing Umrah. And I remember I made two significant duas amongst others during my Umrah. One, I wanted to make 2019 a year for my world tour. And two, I wanted to get admitted into a accredited school. Now, standing in 2020 and looking back at 2019, I'm thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for how amazingly He accepted my du'as. While we were in Mecca, we stayed in the clock tower for a few days. It was really beautiful, subhanAllah. Then we went to Medina by car, and on the road trip, we saw many, many animals like camels and monkeys and other cool stuff. We stayed in Medina for the next few days, and it was definitely a very memorable journey. We spend most of our time doing ibadah in both Mecca and Medina. After staying in Medina, we took a plane to Dubai where we stayed for three days and all three days were filled with exciting and fun plans. We saw the Burj Khalifa, the Dubai Mall, and then we went to Global Village which was definitely one of the most unique places I have ever been to. We also had an amazing time at the Desert Safari, where we drove over sand dunes and watched performances while living a complete Bedouin Arab life. After that, we drove to Abu Dhabi, where I met one of my closest friends, Aisha Abdul Basit. We filmed videos together and also had a huge meet and greet at the Grand Sheikh Zayed Mosque. The crowd was huge, and I'm looking forward to going back soon, inshallah. Then we came back home, and this was the end of our world tour part one. In February, me and Fatima did our first collaboration with Umar and Hannah. We made many fun videos with them, so if you haven't already watched them, you can go check those out. We also went to Massachusetts in Boston, where we attended an event organized by Imam Asif Hirani. The drive was long, but it was definitely worth it. Soon enough, it was March, and we started preparing for our first trip to Europe. It was part two of our world tour, alhamdulillah. We had two events, one in Manchester and one in Birmingham. We spent lots of quality time with our dear uncle Kamal Uddin and Nilo Anti, and Hannah, Maria, Nasiha, and Fatima. Later, we drove to London and explored the beautiful city. There are so many beautiful places to go. In April, we headed to Dallas, where we had another beautiful event at the Epic Masjid. We even went to an unforgettable place, the place where my parents lived when they first came to the USA. We visited the places where my father used to study computer science at the University of Texas in Arlington. We also saw the hospital where my elder sister Maisha was born, and we all really enjoyed that trip. Soon after, in May, it was Ramadan, a very, very blessed time for all Muslims around the world. We recorded a beautiful nasheed, during Ramadan, I also went to an Islamic Relief USA event and it was hosted in the place where I had my Hibs graduation ceremony. That brought back so many memories. Before we knew it, it was time for Eid. We were all dressed up and had lots of fun celebrating this beautiful holiday. In June, after school ended, we decided to take a very lengthy road trip to Canada. We had two events there. followed by spending lots of time with our family and relatives. We visited the beautiful Niagara Falls and had an amazing experience of taking a ship ride close up to the falls. SubhanAllah, it was so beautiful. Ironically, we Americans were on the Canadian side, waving to our fellow Americans. We started off the month of July. Me and Fatima attended our first convention, alhamdulillah. At Muna Convention, we had lots of amazing sessions, and Fatima even won her first trophy at a Qur'an competition. She recited Surat Al-Ma'un, and she won second place, despite being the youngest one there. Mid-July marked the third part of our world tour. To be more specific this time, it was a Europe tour. We went to London, where we had another beautiful event, and spent lots of time with our close friends and fans. After a few days, we continued our journey by train to the beautiful city of Paris in France. We saw the Eiffel Tower and let me tell you, it was really pretty, especially at night when it glowed and sparkled. Then we traveled by train to Switzerland. We were driving on top of mountains. 
Switzerland is so pretty, camera doesn't do it justice. We saw so many beautiful places, traveled through mountains and twisty roads. We ziplined over the mountains and swam in freezing cold waters through valleys. We even had an unplanned and very adventurous drive to Como, Italy. The weather there was so beautiful and we really enjoyed it there, alhamdulillah. The whole journey is unforgettable and if you want to watch more from that trip, you can watch my vlog from my travel diary series. In the beginning of August, the long and awaited Ya Nabi Salam Alaika video was finally released Alhamdulillah and everybody loved it. Later on in August, it was Eid time and as a gift to some of my followers and friends, I called a few of them and it was really cool. All of you are so amazing and thank you for your love and support. Towards the end of August, I started going to a new school and made lots of new friends. The academics and studies there were tough but Alhamdulillah I managed. Throughout the months of September, October, and November, with school going on, we didn't have too many events, just doing a few videos and lives on different weekends, and also going to Six Flags with friends. I also got the opportunity to meet and interview my dear sister Dalia Mugahid, and that was a very special video that will be coming out soon, inshallah. As December started coming in, we started preparing for the big convention in Canada, RIS. We made promo videos and planned for what we'd, we would perform in our sessions. Alhamdulillah, the entire time we stayed at RIS, we were treated with kindness and hospitality, and we really, really enjoyed it. The, per the performances were successful as well, Alhamdulillah, and we are definitely looking forward to going back. Then, we ended the year with lots of fun with our cousins and family. We stayed at Embassy Suites on the 22nd floor, right in front of the Niagara Falls, and we were amazed seeing the beautiful view. We watched the pretty fireworks for New Year's too. SubhanAllah, this entire year, we went from place to place, working with many different people and inspiring many little kids. Alhamdulillah, 2019 was one of my best years yet.